All right, guys, welcome back. Survival Living here. So today we have a review video. This product was sent to me for free, and they wanted me to review it. It is a solar generator, a portable solar power station. Now, this is the Alpha ESS, and this particular model is known as the Black B. So this is 1,000 watts with a 2,000 watt peak system. So we're going to be doing a review on this, guys. I've had this for a few days, been running some tests, the charging, what it's capable of. And of course, anytime we do these, and I do a lot of solar generator reviews, I put them through the test. One of the main thing is running power tools. Power tools are very demanding with peak power, and they need a constant pure sine wave power supply to run and operate correctly so we'll see what this thing can do and so far i'm impressed now of course unboxing guys it's one of the main things on these review videos is showing everything that comes out of the box so i have no problem doing that first thing we have a user manual it's the ap1000 is what comes with it the alpha ess and of course it goes over all kind of uh specifications for you and also this one here has a 24 month warranty card with it not many solar generators offer a 24 month warranty this one here does now one of the things i want to point out to everybody is that the charging on this you can use your wall outlet i believe it's like 180 watts you can use solar which is up to 180 watts of solar power going into it you can use your vehicle or you can also use a usb port system that actually comes with the cabling let's see if i can find the right cable here yep there we go you can charge this thing up using your charger that comes with it the c charge never seen one they charge up that way so they do have that uh, this here of course is the power brick right here this uses a barrel plug to charge into the system and of course this is the wall outlet that hooks to that or you've got your DC uh, input that goes inside your vehicle into the cigarette lighter or whatever uh, charging station you have with a barrel plug. The barrel plug goes to the solar generator itself. So we'll go ahead and move all the foam packaging and we will get to the station. All right, so we're gonna go over some of the things here on this power station, guys. First, it's got this little clear plastic uh, lens cover for your digital display we'll go ahead and move that on this you've got your handle heavy duty handle by the way you have wireless charging there's two wireless charging ports right here for your cell phone earbuds whatever it is that you have set up with your app and everything to accept wireless charging yeah you got wireless charging right here on the back side you've got two strips for your emergency lighting let's go ahead and turn this on turn on the power first it's daylight out here so it's kind of hard to see uh, it's got multiple settings on this that's the bright you got a low dim medium and you got your bright so you got different settings on your light for the back of this for emergency lighting swing this back around here so we got our power on uh, we have the avail availability to run DC outlets you can run with DC barrel plugs or the actual outlet itself that you just plug in like a cigarette lighter of course it has a switch here that you turn on to actually do that um, I don't know if the screens coming up because of the lighting here so of course you just turn everything on you have three outputs for your ac this is your pure sine wave 110 volt 1000 watts now again it has a 2000 watt peak system on this and you also have your usb ports for charging anything that you need by usb and your main power supply charging this here you would hook up your solar using the barrel plug you also be using to charge up using a, a wall outlet so these things right here this here is the DC, DC in, plug right in for your charging, or you got it hooked up to a cigarette lighter. Same thing with your power brick, where you have it hooked up to your wall. Now, if you have solar, if you have a fold-out fold solar panel that has the barrel plug, 
you can charge that way. You can also get adapters for your MC4 connectors that go to a barrel plug and you can use regular 100 watts, 200 watt panels. So that works as well. Let's go ahead and get into some actual testing with this. Now, one of my favorite tests is the circular saw. This is an older saw I keep around out here in my outdoor storage area. Uh, circular saws use a lot of power. So we want to test and see if this thing can actually pull this. Uh, one of the biggest tests we do is the circular saw because it does require a lot of power. So what we're going to do, go ahead and plug everything in. Make sure our AC is turned on. Looks like we are good. Yes, it does. That is awesome. I went ahead and made multiple cuts here, guys, just to make sure that everything does work. Let's check out what we have here. Eternally, we have zero watts out. Now, I'm going to turn down the volume so I can actually visually see what type of power this thing has here. And I'll let you know. I'm going to bring the camera a little closer and see if we can't get the digital readout here. Now with the readout guys you saw up to 700 to 633 and there's a lot of flashing on the screen. In real life there is no flashing on the screen. One of the things I've always learned is when you're reading these LED readouts and you're using a camera, we're using the GoPros, um, it looks like it flashes. It doesn't flash in real life. Uh, that's just the way it is from outside lighting the way it is. If I take this indoors you'll get a better view, but then I'm running a circle saw indoors and I don't recommend doing that. So, let's go ahead and check out some other things. All right, we got our old trusty Dewalt grinder. Yeah, I had it sitting in the grass while I was waiting on this. This is an old grinder, I've used it for years. Now let's go ahead and make sure everything is turned on. Yep, Dewalt does just fine on this. So, let's grab some more power tools. All right, we have an electric drill. Go ahead and plug her up. And uh, let's go ahead and run some screws and make sure that it actually can do it. So, here we go. So, yes, the drill works just fine. Um, having power tools in an emergency situation when the power is out is actually very, very important, especially down here in Florida where we have hurricanes all the time, really have uh, severe wind, wind storms, thunderstorms, things like that. If you got to repair part of your home, put in a plywood, things like that, and the power's down, how are you going to do it? Having a portable power station, something that can actually power up a circular saw a drill, a grinder, something that you can actually use to build and repair parts of your home when the power is out. It's very important. Now, one of the biggest questions I'm going to see is 
dude that's all nice but can it run a coffee pot this here is a very old coffee pot it uses a lot of power uh this is a trusty one so that's why i like using it it takes about 13 minutes to make a pot of coffee so what we're gonna do we're gonna plug this thing in and we are going to uh, run our coffee pot our lights flashing let's go ahead and turn this on and don't worry guys i will not keep you here the entire time we will fast forward everything all right guys so we have a full pot of coffee that's right i'm gonna go and pour me a nice cup here because coffee makes other people safe around me oh good stuff now let's go ahead and talk about the power station right fast guys the alpha ess currently we have 89 percent of battery bank left now we run power tools we run a coffee pot for its full cycle this one here is an older coffee pot like i said before it takes 13 minutes to actually produce a full pot of coffee now there's other systems out there that are faster better on energy but i know this one here takes a lot of power anywhere from 650 to 700 watts to actually make coffee now what i also have it's warm out here so we're going to go ahead and plug in one of our uh, fans this is a circular fan here guys and we're going to go ahead and turn all this on ah, so we have some air out here uh see here we're running 16 watts 18 watts 21 watts it's counting up letting you know 22 watts and the fan is on high so that's what actually run this fan for a very very long time one of the big things i see question wise when it comes to power stations uh is it enough to run a cpap machine that's very important yes this will definitely run a cpap machine for a very long time same with a mini fridge all right mini refrigeration if you got medical equipment that needs to be uh kept cool insulin yes it will run it for several several hours now with this guys i want to uh, talk about some of the features this thing has it does have an automatic cutoff i believe it's at 12 hours if you have appliances running that are under 10 watts at 12 hours this thing will shut itself off as a safety feature on it but if you're running something like this fan it's 22 watts it'll run without ever shutting off anything under 10 watts on your power usage after 12 hours it automatically turns itself off to protect the system it's just saying that hey there must be something bleeding out because it's such a low wattage anything over 10 hours i'm um, 10 watts it'll run it all night long no big deal but even at that 12 hours of runtime and that's just a safety feature that just turns itself off so if you're running a cpap machine and it uses eight watts and i think most of them actually run more than that as far as power goes it will shut itself off after 12 hours you just turn it back on but i don't think you're gonna have a problem with the cpap machine now with this guys there's multiple ways of charging like i said before you got your input for your wall outlet your solar each one when you plug in the wall outlet it's like 180 watts going into this to charge it up your solar if you're running 200 watts panel it will only allow 180 watts to charge all right so always keep that in mind guys this thing will only allow 180 watts going in to actually charge up your batteries so that's you know you don't have to worry about anything if you got a 400 watt system again you're only going to produce 180 watts actually going into this system to charge So again, with all that being said, guys, the Alpha ESS, this is the Black B version. There should be some pop-ups in right about here somewhere. Should be popping up for you. Uh, they do sell directly on their website. Links are in the description and also on Amazon. If you prefer to go through Amazon, there's a link for their Amazon page as well. Again, guys, they do have a setup where you can actually purchase their brand of solar panels for the system just check them out guys again we're not affiliated with them but they did send this product for me for review and i like testing solar generators because i'm a big advocate for portable power all right having backup supply of power in emergency we have solar we have solar generators we have gasoline generators as preppers we try to have as many different types of way of producing power and having something portable you can just pick up and carry with you wherever you got to go let's say that you're having to evacuate Having something like this that can power up a fan, make a pot of coffee, and you leave your area, and it turns out the area that you just went to also lost power. Let's say that you 
let's say you're down here in Florida like I am and you have to evacuate like Hurricane Michael when it came through a lot of people had to evacuate and they went to other towns but the storm kept coming in and also knocked out power and their motels and stuff that they were renting during that time and they were left with no power this right here you can run inside your room there's no gas there's no fumes it's quiet you don't have to worry about carbon monoxide nothing with a gasoline generator you don't have to worry about someone stealing it while you're operating it because you can plug it right into your house now when you go to charge it up all right if you're using a vehicle set inside your vehicle plug it in you're good to go you can plug it in while you're riding down the road also if you're running solar just have your panels outdoors run your cable inside plug this thing up and charge it up inside as long as your power is outside your solar panels anyway guys a couple great ideas for you again awesome little unit um, I like it a lot it held up to what tests that we put up against it so it's a stout we're at 88% battery bank right now and we ran all this stuff having a, a cup a pot of coffee on is freaking awesome that's just the coolest thing ever if you can actually produce enough power to run a old style coffee pot yeah you can't beat that all right guys catch y'all later